This video is intended to teach you how to operate the Multiwave PE653 remote control pool timer system. It consists of the controller and it consists of a remote control. <clears throat> Here's the remote control. Basic operation. First, push a button and it will wake it up. This is a radio frequency remote control. As you can see, it tells you the time and the status, air temperature, pool temperature, what the temperatures are set at. Anytime you want to turn on something, you would turn on or push the perspective button. One, obviously turn on the filter. After you turn on the filter, you could turn on the cleaner if you'd like. And after that, you can switch it from pool to spa. If you were, you'd have to turn off the cleaner. To go to spa, you would hit the PS button right there. And if you'll look, it says spa. Okay? And what it's going to do then is switch it over to spa. And if you're heating the spa, that's what you would do. We'll switch it back to pool. So I see, the, see it changing? Switch it back to spa. Blower turns on the blower. And you see everything light up at the top. Circuit number two. That would be what you do to turn on the blower. Okay. We're going to go back to pool. In this case, the word spa jet does nothing. Spa jet only means if you were over there at the main controller, which uh, <clears throat> would look like that box, you would push the number four button. To change to spa. In this case, you push the PS button to change to spa. The heater button also doesn't do anything on the remote control. It would only do something on the main controller if it wasn't using the remote control. In this case, if you wanted to heat the water temperature up, you would push this arrow and it's got the set number right there where it says 56. You can see it's going up 61, 62, 68, whatever. Okay, the pump has to be on to do that, always. Okay, that's how you change the temperature. If you were on spa, like it says right there, you would do the same thing. You would just raise the temperature like I'm doing right now, 58, 60, 61, 62. That'll, that'll turn on the heater, and that's how you heat the spa. That's the basic operation. If you want to switch to the other set of controls, you push that button, and as you can see, we have these things set up. These are scene activation. Currently, I have one set up for pool light, so we touch the number one button. Then you would be up, would be on, down would be off. Up, and it's going to turn on pool lights. Here we go. If we do it again, push the down. Oh, first we push one. Then you push down. Light off. There's a whole lot more features to this. For example, you can push these two buttons and you enter in all the menus that you would go through to change the time, change the time all the activations the pumps come on or anything you want to operate during the day i suggest you consult the owner's manual to understand all that because it gets pretty tough but either way this is the basic operation hit enter it just brings it all the way back that concludes the remote control